Oh no, we've got low tire pressure. We're about six or five or six PSI below what it needs to be at 42 PSI. So we're gonna fill up, but we really wanted to check on how the range would be. So uh, over the last 10 miles, we're at 232.7 watt hours per mile with low tire pressure, uh, about five to six PSI below. And it really kind of uh, was, was really helping out here because we had to slow down to get to the gas station. But uh, 232.7 watt hours per mile. Let's see what it does after we fill the tires up. All right, just got done filling the tires up. They're all filled up, one PSI off, which is not a big deal, but no uh, low tire pressure light on now. So let's drive and see how it goes. All right, so 18.7 miles is what we've driven since we filled the tires up to the correct PSI and 260 watt hours per mile is what we've gotten right now. Now it is pouring outside, so it is pretty rainy. Um, but here's the difference though, because that does seem a little higher than what we had when we filled the tires up, which kind of makes no sense. Uh, but here's the deal though. If you do look at the since last charge, which was this morning, we have driven 58 miles today there. I had to go to a few doctors for them, that kind of stuff. And so we've driven 58 miles today and 280 watt hours was the usage. If you take that 280 minus the 260, it's right around 20 watt hours per mile difference from the time that we uh, we had the tires this morning where they're low on PSI to the time we filled them up to the correct PSI. Here's the deal though. If you do want the most range and the most life out of your tires, keep the PSI correct on your tires there. Keep filling up as much as you possibly can, and that will give you the longest life on your tires, plus the uh, the best range on the vehicle with the difference in the drag on the tires there. So uh, just keep them you know, to the correct PSI, and that'll help you out a lot. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, if you're looking to buy your own Tesla, I have a referral link in the comment section where you can save about $1,000 off on some of the Teslas, $500 on others there. Uh, so click on the referral link uh, to get your next Tesla and save some money. We'll see you guys in the next video.